Hi guys and girls, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul Balance, and this is a special reading for the new moon coming up on the 13th of June, yeah, which is all about the predictions for our good fortune and protection. So a perfect time to set your intentions going forward and to manifest what you want in terms of any aspect of your life, whether it's love and romance, wealth and abundance, success, um, whatever you want to bring into your life, whether it's even just things like... Uh, resolution of conflict peace in your world yeah so uh i'm doing this special reading so first up i'm going to pull you some specific guidance for the new moon and then there's also going to be if you want to uh learn more about it and get the uh, special the extra special reading that goes with this i'm going to do an inner diverse reading which i'm going to tell you about at the end of this reading yeah so let's get started so first up now if you want to set your intentions before i get started if you want to set your intention through the uh, new moon, I'll tell, I'll share with you one of the practices that I do. Yeah. So uh, often what I'll do is I'll think about what I want to draw into my life. It can be any aspect of your life, as I've said. Yeah. I write them down. I write whatever it is that I, and don't limit yourself. Yeah. Think big. Think big. I write down whatever it is I want to attract into my life, whether it's um, soulmate partnership, whether it is, uh, you know, money coming in, whatever it is, you know, projects, being projects, being blessed. You write it down and uh, talk to your angels. I always I always ask for my uh, higher spirit guides to join me and to uh, bless my bless my uh, abundance wishes. Yeah. And write them down. And then I often then what I do is fold them up and um I have a I have a my crystal set up on a silk cloth, a little square of silk cloth. So I put my intentions underneath that silk cloth, and then I put my uh, crystals over the top. Um, also with a selenite wand, yeah. So whatever you've got, yeah. Um, you could also, if you haven't got any of that, you could also just pop it under your pillow um, if you wanted to, yeah. Um, the best day to write them is you can do it before if you want. Um, but you've got so much more power if you do it on the 13th of June, yeah, and uh, do it then. Um, yeah. All right. So let's get started. So first up, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. And uh, let's see what comes up for everyone in terms of this new moon. What do we need to know? Hmm. Okay. So first up, I pulled green tara start delegating so for those of you that have been t doing too much for everybody it's about taking a step back in terms of uh going on from this new moon and actually asking for help um allowing others to step up if you do if you're doing everything and you, and it's also a control thing right so if you feel like people can't just do things the way you want them to do them um, but you're getting overburdened and getting resentful because you're doing everything. You need to actually step back and let people have a go themselves. Yeah, and if they fail, they fail, but at least they've given it a go. So start delegating, whether this is at home or whether this is at work. And just remember, take from this reading what you will. Yeah, if you want a personal reading with me, I'll put the link on this video and in the description box below. It'll be attuned to your own energy and the questions you want to ask. Yeah. Oh my goodness, love this. Look, see me, bright future coming. Okay, so stop worrying. Everything's going to turn out fine. Beautiful. All right, what else do we need to know? That one just blew out. Oh. Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. It's about loving yourself. Um, coming from a place of love when you deal with other people, you don't know what they're going through yet. Uh, so if there's any conflict coming up, just just maintain your own sense of balance and, and inner peace, yeah, when dealing with people. Don't let them rile you up, but also know that they're probably going through something. But just love yourself, love yourself, yeah. I'm a great advocate for self-love because it impacts every area of your life, yeah, every area. How do you do that? You put yourself first. You put your health, your well-being, your exercise, your nutrition first. Pamper yourself a bit. Get out in nature. Oh, gorgeous. We've got Aphrodite, inner goddess. This is about tapping into the things that light you up, the things you're passionate about, following your heart's desires, whether it's your projects, whether it's in love. Um, allowing yourself to just be, like, you know, do things that light you up, like dance inject a little bit more adventure and fun into your life um follow me on instagram if you want to see some of the things that i do 
to inject some fun and adventure into your, into my life and tap into my inner goddess, right? Because there's a lot of stuff I post on there that you'll never see on YouTube, yeah? So you get a personal insight. But I do a lot of trekking and hiking through uh, some beautiful parts of the country. I also put up lots of inspirational posts in terms of um, quotes, success quotes. So, yeah, I'll put the I'll put the um, my Instagram handle on here, but follow me over there, yeah? All right, what else do we need to know for this new moon on June the 13th? Mm. For some of you, it's not going to apply to everybody. Dana, high priestess, you have the spiritual power to be a great healer, a spiritual teacher, if you so choose, yeah, and to tap into that divine spirituality. Don't be ashamed of your spirituality. Yeah? You don't have to express it to everybody. You can keep it to yourself if you're not so comfortable letting people know that you're spiritual. Um, don't ever be don't ever be afraid of it or ashamed of it. Yeah? Embrace it. All right, I'm going to pull you one more from this deck. I'm loving what's coming out so far. I hope you are. Oh, yes. Peace, siren, peace is coming, okay, um, a renewal of peace in your world, so if you've had any conflict going on, um, if you've had been going through challenges that you feel are unsolvable, yeah, just know the divine is working behind the scenes to give you a, a divine hand up, peace is coming, yeah, whether that's in your home life, whether that's in love and romance, whether that's to do with your finances, yeah, you got two messages here about stop worrying, all right. Going to pull you some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck and let's see what you need to know. And this is a healing deck. If you've not watched any of my other readings, um, it's a beautiful healing deck. Yeah. Under green Tara, this is hilarious. Start delegating. Kyanite blue, letting go. In this context, it's about letting go of control. It's about allowing divine timing to happen in your life, in all aspects of your life. But it's about also letting go of any conflict. Just walk away from it. Walk away from it. Let people deal with themselves. <laughs> um, I love that aspect of uh, solving that issue, right? People arcing up in your world. Just let it go. Let them fight with themselves. Um, in terms of ta green tar, I start delegating. This is what I said to you about letting go of control and allowing others to step up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do everything yourself. All right. What else do we need to know? If you can hear any background noise, um, I'm actually filming outside because the light's so good out here. But it might be, um, I've actually had a shower of rain, but there's also birds. Mm, right next to letting go. And under bright future, red jasper, healthy boundaries. So important, this message, yeah. Uh, this is about protecting yourself, protecting your soul light, your inner child, the things that are important to you, your own truth, yeah, your heart space. Setting healthy boundaries with people so that you look after your own self-worth, self-love, yeah. So important in terms of your bright future, yeah. It can also mean in terms of your future projects, ideas, career, finances, yeah. It's about going after what you want, not apologising for it. Mm. You've also got road across side acceptance. This is acceptance of self, all parts of yourself to be whole, yeah. It's also sitting under con unconditional love. I'm going to say to you, this is unconditional love for yourself. Accepting the light and dark signs of yourself. Um, letting anything go from the past that's holding you back. But just love yourself, yeah? Love yourself. All right, what else do we need to know? This is for all of us, yeah? <laughs> what else do we need to know about this new moon coming? Hmm... Okay, second message of compassion, emerald, compassion, yeah. Uh, compassion for yourself, because it's sitting right next to acceptance, but also compassion for others, yeah. Sometimes that can be a little tricky to do if people are pushing your buttons, but just do your best. Do your best. If that doesn't work, put healthy boundaries in place. All right, these two want to come out together. Mm, yeah. Black tourmaline protection, just know that you're divinely protected at this time, yeah? Um, and that's what all, the, that's what the, uh, you know, the key predictions of this new moon are, is that it's going to be about good fortune and protection, yeah? Mm. Under peace, 
um, Irene, you've got spirit quartz music. So music's going to be in your piece. So if you've got anything challenging, any worries and thoughts coming up, do some meditation to music. Um, sound therapy is just beautiful if you want to try that. But it also just means like put some music on like when you're driving, when you're working. Uh, it's going to bring you inner peace, you know. It's going to allow you to relax and let go. All right. I'm going to pull you. I haven't used this deck in a while. I just, uh, I'm an intuitive tarot reader, if you don't know. Um, but I felt drawn to pull this one today, yeah. So uh, it's the Angel Oracle deck. And let's see what specific guidance is going to come out. Now, this could be any aspect of life, yeah. Oh, there's so many cards in this deck. It can be a little hefty to shuffle. Mm, okay. Night of Air. So this is all about things happening really fast, coming in at coming in at great speed. Um, you might have a lot going on in June, um, but it's about taking the time to logically think about what's the best options for you. Yeah, sitting right under, let go, and start delegating. So if you've got lots of things happening, you might need to delegate some of them. All right. Here we go. Mm. We've just had second confirmation of events happening at a fast pace, yeah. Um, conflicting priorities. Just work out what is most of what what is the highest priority for you. Um, just know that things might be a little chaotic, yeah. Um, but don't worry about it because it's sitting under. It just say basically an indication that things are going to be happening really fast. Um, it could be lots of, it's sitting under bright future, so there might be some uh, contracts coming in fast, some opportunities coming in fast. Just weigh your options up, yeah. Mm. And this is interesting. I think this kind of pretends to the um, healthy boundaries. Page of air. So it says challenging information coming in, delivered without tax, yeah. Um, when that happens, it's really about trying to, Ignore the way it's delivered, but re get the message out of it, yeah. Um, it's sitting under acceptance. It's sitting under unconditional love. Mm. Put healthy boundaries in place with people. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Mm. Night of Earth, time to buckle down and honour your commitment. So... If you want success to come into your life, if you want good fortune to come into your life, one, it's about knowing exactly what it is you want, having that time. Take some quiet time out to really think about it, particularly if you want to launch some new projects, yeah. It's also if you've got things that are going on that you've already started and you're wavering a bit, yeah, you're not quite sure of yourself, you're not confident enough, just keep taking the steps you're guided to take one foot after the other, just know what your next step is, yeah. Keep going, don't give up, yeah. Um, it also means that you've got a guardian angel looking over you. So you are divinely protected. When you, keep, when you stay focused on um, where you want to go, you'll hit your mark. You will if you just keep with it. Okay. This is not going to apply to everybody, but just watch out for this. Okay. So we've pulled the ego, Archangel Jophiel, um, a false sense of entrapment, but being focused more on the material things um, of life. So just watch out for that. Um, some negative and fear-based thoughts possibly coming up. Just know it's sitting right under black tourmaline protection. So stop worrying. Yeah, you're divinely protected at this time. But um, yeah, often with the ego, we want... We think material things are going to make us happy. Yeah, often, often it's not the material things that make us the most happy. Think about that. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, under Irene P. Um, and music. Yeah, this is what's coming. Ace of Earth, inflow of abundance, promising new uh, contracts or business ventures. Yeah, opportunities coming in. Beautiful, gorgeous. Gorgeous to finish off this part of the reading. Now, so let me explain to you the next part of the reading, which is really super special. Yeah, is the uh, it's the inner diverse reading. It's a six card reading. It's in the shape of a heart. Yeah, and normally I do it with one deck, but I'm going to do it with three decks, and they all have the most amazing guidance. 
and uh, I'm going to pull the cards for you, but if you want the full reading, you need to go over to my video channel, yeah? Um, I'm going to pop it up for you for just $2.95, yeah? You guys can, uh, you guys can afford that. Um, it's literally going to be an extended half hour reading on top of this one, yeah? And what it does is it just provides the most beautiful guidance in terms of what we need to know about the new moon going forward, um, aspects that might come up that could be challenging or things that are just mostly totally beautiful coming into our lives, yeah? So I'm going to pull two cards from each deck. So the first one I'm going to pull from is the Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. And well, let's see what comes up. So in this reading, I will show you the cards that are going to come up, but I'm actually going to share the messages in the extended version, yeah. So if you want that, you know, I'll put the link on this video and uh, in the description box below, and you can head over and get it. It's usually just the most beautifully sublime reading, yeah. All right. And I just felt drawn to do it for you. I did for this new moon. I did. The message has been coming through for a couple of days. Well, actually a week, a week if I'm honest. Okay. What do we need to know? Oh, there they are. Both of them just flipped out. <laughs> As I said that. So we pulled this one. So beautiful. And this one here, which looks like a whole lot of trees with the moon just right over the top. Gorgeous. All right. I'm also going to pull two cards from the Kunyan Oracle deck. And let's see what comes up. What do we need to know? Oh, that one just flipped out. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm not surprised. The Book of Changes has come out. Gorgeous. And what else do we need to know about the new moon on June the 13th? Clear guidance, please. Here we go. Oh. Many hands of the goddess. Beautiful. Beautiful. So it's all about projects and ideas. Okay. And I'm going to pull the last two cards from the uh, Rumi Oracle deck. And let's see what we need to know about the new moon coming up. What is our guidance? It is. Oh, gorgeous. We've got Enter the Garden of Delights. Oh, we have clear guidance, please. What else do we need to know? There it is. Mmm, beautiful. Beyond the threshold of fear. All right, peeps. I'm going to put the link up now for you if you want to head over and get that reading. Uh, it doesn't matter if you watch it before the uh, 13th of June, yeah. You can, uh, you'll have it for the, what happens on my Vimeo channel, right, is you uh, actually opt in to get that video. You can watch it as many times as you like, yeah. Absolutely, it just stays there for 12 months for you to watch it. But, um, yeah. All right, I'm going to put the link on this video. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And uh, head over to my Vimeo channel if you want to get the rest of it, yeah. And for now, much love, much life. Namaste. See you on the other side. Thank you.